This is Curbside Attraction here, and I shall be your host along this long, and I've heard about Dreaded Journey. This war of mine, the little ones. <laughs> so my buddy Justin, also known as Retro Drop, told me a little about this game. And it's going to be sad, it's going to be horrible, you're going to be forced to do things that you're not going to be proud of later on in life. Let's get down to it. I can already tell this is going to be a good game when there's a little thing in the bottom right of the screen that says, Fuck the war. Damn right. Fuck that war. Fuck it right in the butt. Sweet Caroline. I've had that song stuck in my head for about a week now. Welcome to hell, contaminate. Okay, I didn't need to read the graffiti. Fuck the war. Fuck it. Okay. Aha. This is the familiar scene I've seen from when I was playing a little bit. Ooh. La la. Ooh la 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 la. Ooh. Touch my ta la la. Aha. These people are all depressed. Okay. Hello! Welcome to what my house looks like currently. I never clean. And that includes the two gaping hole- Three! Oh. How long has its siege lasted? It's hard to say when every day is a struggle for survival. The city is crawling with snipers. Shelling is an ordinary business almost every night. Phones don't work. There's a shortage of foods and meds. And many people are left homeless. Bruno and Marco have always been good friends, so when the war broke out, they started to stick together. They met Pavel while scavenging for, scavenging for supplies. He used to be poor go got Renz, star football player, and now he's just another homeless victim of the war. So they teamed up, hoping for the best. Alright, so from going from left to right in the pictures up there, it's Pavel, it's Bruno, and then Marco. I believe I got that right. Pavel and Marco, yeah, yeah, this is Pavel. He's a fast runner. He's slightly wounded. You can see his stats on the bottom right hand screen right here. You can also, if I press square, you can see the bio. And I'll read about that later on. Alright. So, first things first. They give you this time to scavenge your house in the very beginning. I know this this much. I have very minimum knowledge about the game. But, okay. So, Bruno's a good cook. I'm going to have him come over here. And there should be, yeah, right here. There's a workbench right here. So, what I want Bruno to do is come over here. And then I want him to craft... Oh, we don't have anything yet. So what I want them to actually start doing is... Can I open this door? No. So there's certain doors in my house that is locked. They actually changed the scheme to this house. Just not notice it. It's different from when I started doing it. All right, can you go in here? Okay, yeah. What about this door? All right, yeah. So I want him to start clearing debris. All right. Uh, Pavel, I want you to start doing the same thing upstairs. This will make him a little bit tired, but it's going to be worth it. No, no, no. Don't, don't loot. Don't loot. I'm going to leave that for... Um, yeah, he's Marco is a skilled scavenger, so I want him to do all the looting, because I'm sure I'm sure that it gives him more of a bonus since he's a expert sca scavenger. All right, start looking over there. All right, yeah, you go in here. What do we got? What was this used for? Whoa! Oh, 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 oh! Okay, yeah. Research that. All right, so we got herbs, various herbs that can be used to make herbal medications out of roll-up cigarettes. Components as craftable as water, more wood, and then some electronical parts. So we'll take all of those. Alright. I'm gonna come over here, scavenge this supplies. I want you to come upstairs. So it's gonna show me what we got over here. Oh, we got some food, more herbs, more water, more more craftable locations. Come over here. Alright, start digging. Uh, the first thing I wanna do is build a shovel. I, 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 that's what I did before, and it like made like the rubble so much faster to clean up. Oh, I'm trying to go down the ladder. Okay. Nah, 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 nah. Right, so we got some raw food in our kitchen now. Yay! I love progress. Okay. All right. Sama, get in here and take all this stuff. Oh yeah, I got some parts. Not sure exactly what the parts are used for. Ah. I'm just gonna go through here and take all these brawls. I'm not a burger. Get out of my own life. All right. Go down here. Do the work. Okay. Yes, we're getting some pretty good supplies. I might actually do better. I might not die in the first week. Haha! -ha! I love survival. Survival's my favorite. Boom. All right. Let's get inside. Yeah, so, dudes. Start looting. Oh, oh, oh some lock picks. Because there are some locked doors in this house. I remember that. Okay. 
So we'll start pilfering through there. Okay, you got one pile done. Can we build a bench yet? I know I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a bed, so bed's my priority because it will. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can use a bed. Okay. So I'll use a bed. I'll put it right here. Here. So I'm doing that. All right, you're almost done with that debris pile. Yay! Let's go. Once you're done with this one, I want you to go over to the one to the left there. You're doing great, Pavel. Keep being a fast runner. You're almost as fast as you're you're digging so much as fast as you're running. Oh, that's the one. Okay. Can this be? Okay, that can be looted. So, ah, uh, I'm gonna use lockpick in this one. Lockpicks only have one use per lockpick, so they're pretty flimsy. All right, sorry, clearing that debris. All right, he built the bed. Awesome. The first days are pretty crucial. Okay, so I'm gonna need. Uh, I want to get the metal workbench so I can make some like shovels and knives and all that but I'm gonna need another bed deck sleep is a priority in this game if no one gets any sleep do they're, they're tr they just trudge everywhere all right build another one over there okay okay Pavel you're doing good homie you're doing good okay it's only it's only two o'clock right now yeah, there we go so yeah it's only two o'clock we are Jimmy doing fantastic we are survivors people this is great Keep at it. Just keep building, just keep scavenging, just keep building, just keep scavenging. So uh, we have like 10 seconds left until like, yeah, I know. okay, the night. All right, this is where things get a little bit more hectic. Okay, so I it's the first night. I don't think it's gonna be, okay, you're slightly wounded, so I want you to sleep in the bed. Uh, Mar okay, Marco, you're gonna be my scavenger, and I want you to, you can stand guard. And to the right here, excuse me, I have a little bit of a hiccups, okay. To the right here, it explains the location you're gonna be looting. And then it says lots of food, huge amount of materials, lots of meds, huge amount of weapons, and lots of parts. So we have a shelled cottage, and then we have, oh, then we have a decrepit squat. Get a little bit of bio, huge amount of materials, lots of weapons, lots of parts. Semi-detached house. Huge amount of food, lots of meds, lo huge amount of weapons, huge amount of parts, and danger. So danger means that there might be, I'm not going to go there yet, because I have no means of defending myself so we need mostly materials mostly materials and we can get some oh yeah and food obviously we need food okay so i'll go here i don't think there's anything i need to take the barter or use right now i don't have anything so like you you'll come across man uh i i mean like this is what justin told me you come across a lot of different scenarios in this game that will cause you to do some it might screw you over but it's like the the right thing to do and it will uh oh that house is still on fire it would be the right thing to do, but it's gonna cost you. Or you might have to do something that's gonna be like really bad for the good of all your people. Teddy bear! Teddy bear! A broken toy. This toy has been seen better days. It's broken now, but it certainly brought a lot of joy to its previous owner. So I got a lot of... Okay, so I'm coming here for a supply run, so might as well take all of this. There we go. I'll come back for that later. Let's appear on the side real quick and see if I see anything. No! Alright. Food. Food first. I don't think anybody's in here because like, everything's like looted the high. Oh, awesome. I'll take all the water I can get. And then the food. Food, definitely. Because Bruno is a great cook, so he can make things for cheaper, I believe. Or at least he makes them like way more nutritional for us. Okay. Herbs. Awesome. I don't need the sugar. I haven't found a use for the sugar yet. All right. Let's go. Oh, yes. Those are good medicines, I believe. That's great! Oh, okay, I need the... Alright, I don't wanna be... Okay, I'm gonna go loot everything else first. And then I'll come down, down here for that. I'm not gonna risk clearing out the rubble to my right here, because that looks like it might be a locked cupboard. So, yeah, I'm gonna go upstairs. 
see what I'm going to there first. Ah, hello. Keep on looting, keep on looting, looting everywhere. Okay, so I might just make this a, su a supply run. It's locked. All right, shit. All right, let's go downstairs. We'll clear out this debris. And don't worry, I'll skip past this part for you guys. I'll fast forward it. Or You can hear all the squeaky, squeakiness of my voice as I'm fast forwarding. Please go faster. 